Hey, 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 family. Today, we're going to replace this capping station. We need a new one because this one is not working. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This DTF printer is dirty. You see, she gets a lot of use. So come with me and take this journey as we replace this capping station on L1800 DTF printer. We're going to take this out. First, we're going to go ahead and remove this little spring right here. You'll see me doing that. You're going to you're going to need to take this off. So I'm going to put the camera down and I'm going to remove it. All right. So we have gotten this spring out. You have to be very careful because this spring will shoot across the room. Um, I took it out a few days ago and lost it. Had to take the top off the DTF printer. So again, this is an L1800. We are removing this. So you have to take this little spring off. And I suggest when you put it back, we are to use this little string that you see right here. And I'll show that. All right. Now we are in the process of removing the old one and you should see that spring and you have two little um, waist, waist lines down here. I don't know. Let me see if I can focus my camera. I don't think that you can see them, but they are right here and I will kind of um, point to them right here so that you can see these two little, two little waistline. Um, you need to go ahead and remove that. This is a little bent because I tried to remove this and take it out. I ordered one from, from AliExpress and it just did not do the job. So I tried to um, rig one. So I had to wait um, and I ordered another one, but I ordered this whole pumping station, which I do not need at this time. All right. Once the printer lines, once the um, capping station is removed, you will see those two lines, which is the ink waste lines. And then there is a spring. I'm going to clean up down here just a little bit before I reattach a new one. All right. Again, this is our new capping station um, ink pad that we're going to go ahead and replace. Like I said, I do not need to replace the entire capping station. So I took this one off of the new um, capping station. I'm going to use this because my piece originally was broke up here. Be careful, guys, because if you break it, you will need another one. These are hard to find, but soon we will be restocking these and carrying these. OK, so let me go ahead and make this assembly and put this back together. As I stated before, you have to be very careful. I went ahead and put that, got that line in. And now we have to um, hook the little spring that I showed you back in here. And I'm going to show you how I do that. One of the things that you'll find here is I have put this on a string. I'm going to move my glasses out of the way. I put this on a string so that way um, you won't drop this little spring down in there because it has to attach um, back. So make sure that you put it on a little string. Um, string so that you won't lose it and it also makes it a lot easier to put in I can't do this one-handed so I'm gonna have to go ahead and put the camera down but this is how I am gonna get it up there okay guys you see that I have the spring right here is hooked on this little latch and you can see that I'm holding my string and I'm going to um, hook it on the other latch all right as you can see I was able to fish that on up here and I'm going to take this string and um, you would just take the string and pull the string on out if, as long as I can get it. Just pulling the string on out. And there we have it, folks. All right. I went ahead and wet the pad a little bit. And I'm going to go ahead and turn my machine on. And this um, completes the process of um, changing out our ink pad. 